In this video, you will learn how to download, sign in, and get started with your first task on the OnFleet Driver app. The OnFleet Driver app is by invite only, meaning you must be added as a driver by an organization to receive the download link and temporary password. For more information regarding driver screening, orientation, payroll information, scheduling, and support to all other driver operations, please contact your dispatcher team directly. Once an organization has added you as a driver, you will receive an SMS communication inviting you to download the OnFleet Driver app and sign in. Please note, if you have used OnFleet previously, you will not receive an invitation. You can sign in using your previous credentials and will then be able to view the invitation within the app. If you work for multiple organizations, you can switch between them by selecting the drop down menu. Once you download the app, you will be asked to enter your phone number and a temporary password. Once you have entered the temporary password, you can then set a permanent password. After logging in, you can go on duty to view tasks or select settings to set your app preferences and your driver profile. Let's look at settings first. To access the settings page of the driver app, you can select the three vertical lines at the upper left corner. Once there, you will have the opportunity to adjust your name, phone number, profile picture, vehicle type, license plate number, vehicle color, and default navigation app. Under the settings section, you can select your preferred navigation app. Make all desired changes and tap done to save. You can also select auto advance to the next task for a streamlined workflow. This feature allows you to automatically queue up the next task on your list once you complete a task. Now that you have finished updating your settings to your preferences, you can view your task and start one. The task view has two options, list and map view. You can switch views by selecting the icon on the upper right corner of the app screen. Tasks are assigned to you by your organization's dispatcher. OnFleet does offer a self-assigned feature, however, that must be enabled by your organization. If your organization has enabled self-assignment, you will be able to select the unassigned section, view the tasks available, and then select them to add them to your current task list. Select a task to view more information, such as recipient name, task type, recipient notes, completion time, order notes, and any other information your company may have included. Once you are ready to start a task, hold the Hold to Start button at the bottom of the screen. You will need to hold down on this button for three seconds to be able to start a task. Up until then, you may cancel the task by releasing the button. Once you start a task, it has to be completed and either marked as succeeded or failed. Now let's take a look at some of the completion options. Your organization can decide whether some of these options are required to complete a task or if they're optional. If they are required, you will receive an error message if you tried to complete a task without the requirements. For proof of delivery photos, if you are on an iOS device, to take a photo, tap Photo Options under Attachments, which will open your camera. To add additional photos, simply tap on your first photo and select Add Photos. If you are on an Android device, tap the Photo option under Attachments, and to add additional photos, simply tap the camera icon with the plus symbol located at the bottom right corner of the photo screen. Your organization can send a link to the recipient to have them provide a contactless signature, or you can select the signature option that allows the recipient to sign using your device's screen. If your organization requires barcode scanning to complete a task, multiple barcodes can be scanned for a single task. After task completion, your dispatcher will have access to the barcodes that were scanned in the completed task timeline from the dashboard. 
OnFleet's age verification feature enables drivers to verify the recipient's age from a government-issued ID upon task completion using your device's camera. Once you have collected all the task completion requirements, you can then select Complete Task and move on to your other tasks. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the analytics and chat function. You can review your personal task history via the analytics tab located in the center of the bottom bar in the OnFleet Driver app. You do not have to be on duty to be able to view this information. The analytics tab contains information that summarizes your historic deliveries based on the selected dates. This information includes a quick summary of time per task, distance per task, service time per task, the task completed within your specified time frame, task completion on time versus delayed, miles or kilometers driven, distance on duty, in transit versus idle, time on duty, in transit versus idle. The difference between in transit and idle is very simple. OnFleet considers in transit the time you spend while you are actively delivering on a task. In simple terms, when you select Start Task, you are considered in transit. The time you are on duty and not actively delivering for a task is considered idle. If your organization has enabled the chat function, you can access the chat feature by selecting the chat bubble icon in the lower right corner of the mobile app. To start a new conversation, click the plus sign on the chat icon in the upper right, then select the appropriate dispatcher or driver you would like to converse with. The OnFleet chat can also be used to chat with other drivers in your organization. Your dispatcher can create group chats within the dashboard, and you can tell you are in a group chat because the name of each participant will be included. Once you have completed the tasks in your route, you can select Off-Duty to go off-duty. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check out the OnFleet Support Center for more helpful tutorials and articles.